Hey guys, what's up? So, I finally figured out what was causing my popping, clunking sound on this truck over here, that F-250. Uh, I've been chasing it down for about two years and replacing like uh, the bushings and like uh, yeah, different like the obvious things that I actually could see that were that need replacing. Bushings, what's it called? Like uh, uh, the sway bar bushings body mounts I mean everything that was obviously you know the rubber was worn out or whatever I could, I could tell that was obvious so I started fixing that stuff first um, also what I did the uh, track bar also the uh, drag link um, so I pretty much replaced everything and then yeah you know, it was still popping so um, I even replaced the dust, dust cover seals everything so um, so I, I solved it by um, it's actually the, the it was the control arms, man. Uh, they were, I just had to tighten them down. They were already tight. They just weren't torqued enough. So let me show you what I have here. I have a, I mean, this is obviously a breaker bar, and a 27 millimeter socket, and uh, I had to kind of I had to buy a cheater bar, and uh, yeah, just basically just a piece of a three quarter inch galvanized pipe I got over at Home Depot. You know, it comes with little thread protectors on it, but yeah, I just had to slide in like that to give it some extra leverage, you know. Yeah, so I had to get like a huge wrench, you know. And because my torque wrench it only goes to like 200 foot pounds, so that's not even enough. I think it's, I was reading somewhere that this thing needs to be torqued down to like 400 foot pounds, so that's insane, you know what I mean? Like my impact wrench, well, I don't think we even do that, my air impact wrench. Um, but let me show you where the bolts are at. bolts right there track bar right there not track bar excuse me <laughs> I think it's a control arm uh, this is actually the one that was loose down there it wasn't even loose though. it was already tight just wasn't tight enough uh, because it was funny I had checked those before to see if they were loose and you know like I said I decided to torque it down and there's there's some other bolts back there right there but for me, my front ones were loose up here. So, torqued them down and uh, no more clunking, no popping. Mine was coming from the driver's side. And it was only happening like when I'd go for bumps and, and things like that. And it was like clunk, clunk, clunk. It, it sounded like it was metal on metal. So, yeah, and like I said, I've already replaced all these different things in here. Thinking, you know, maybe that's it, maybe that's not it. But just tightening some bolts, that was it. So... Hopefully this helps somebody. If you're having the same problem, check it, look at them. So, cool.